um, in the transcript. And I'll share my screen as well. We'll hold on a second. Uh, and I'm very foggy in the brain, so. Okay, uh, well, <clears throat> welcome. Uh, if I put the minutes in the chat, then if you could add yourself and tell us if you were in the Olympics, what sport you would take part in in the Olympics. I've got extreme spectating. I like that one. <laughs> God, I shared, I copy pasted something really wrong. I was trying to copy paste the minutes because some people joined them. So ignore that. <laughs> I was just trying to copy paste that. But I <laughs> Thank you. You can also hit retweet, but. Oh, that's, that's happened but plenty Zoom, of times. I've just used to Zooming. Okay, today is November. That is wild. Day of the Dead. It is. Um, November 2nd is the Day of the Dead? In first second. Okay. Well, that, the is, oh, that. that explains why the people at, I had dinner with my wife last night, and that explains why some people were, I thought, still dressed in Halloween, Halloween costumes, but they were dressed as Day of the Dead people now that I think of it. So it, it all makes more sense now. <clears throat> All right. So, so <clears throat> I have a few things on the agenda today and please feel free to add some things if you would like. And if anybody else would like to lead this meeting so <laughs> my voice can do it, that would be. Yeah, I can, co I can uh, lead the meeting. It's just, just basically uh, coordinating. Um, and if um, so, Let's just start with um, metric keywords that we're, we're starting to use. Um, in short, metric keywords are a controlled list of, is it, this is the controlled, no, these are not the controlled list. This is the open list, right, Matt? Yeah, so let me, I'll give just a little bit of context here. So um, particularly for people who are not familiar with this. So this is the spreadsheet and this is, you can just click on that. This is the spreadsheet that we use to track the development of all of our metrics across the different working groups, as well as metrics models, which are metric models are collections of metrics <coughs> that are brought together in a meaningful way. And so um, basically what we're doing is on the website right now, we just have a, a long list of metrics. So basically everything that's green across all of the different working groups, for example, have been what are called released metrics. And we're changing the website a bit so that we're gonna have a more search friendly approach to the metrics. So right now, you know, a list of 75, just kind of in, in order, uh, doesn't help from a search perspective. So we're, we're providing two things for each metric. One is, a set of context tags. And these context tags, as Sean was pointing out, are fixed tags associated with each metric. And this is these are the list of context tags that we have for each metric. And these context tags will help kind of organize the metrics in a, in a way that kind of brings them together across different working groups. So whether the metric was developed in the DEI working group or the common working group, um, they can be brought together around <clears throat> these context tags. The keywords are a non-fixed set of tags. Um, and so we can kind of define what those keywords would be for each of the metrics that we have released. And so we need to, to really start putting together keywords for each of our metrics so that when we launch the search features on the website, um, we actually have something to search against. All right. Does that make sense for folks? All right. Yeah. 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 That's that's uh, that's the idea. I'm really doing a great job coordinating here, Matt. That's um, I'm killing it. <laughs> you go ahead. So I the I hope here is that we could spend maybe just a little bit of time taking a look at some of the metrics and identifying a few keywords for those metrics because we have to do it for all of the green rows that we have. 
so just to be clear, when we say keywords, this will help. Um, how do these searches work? And by the way, I'm excited because this seems to be something that doesn't involve having to have a GitHub account. And it's yeah, that's right. These will this be searches. Where I feel I can mostly help. Yeah, no, you are you are correct. And so let me um, I'll try to right now. So we have the website that let me pull that up for you really fast. Just saying it's three o'clock and I had to turn on the light. <laughs> oh, that's uh, those are hard. Those are hard days. Hard times. <laughs> so hold on. I'm trying to I'm trying to find two things for you. One is the current website, and then one is what the website will look like. It's not been released yet, but it'll give you an idea, a better idea of what I'm. Thank you. About. Yep, sure. But just sorry to it. just jump in and be like, you know, no, no, totally these are right. super cool. good questions. Did I lose the call? Okay. All no, right. right. I, I just muted. Uh, my wife just came home and she said, hi. Everyone is so still sometimes. I, I don't know if I froze. <laughs> no. Um, okay. So just a second here. All right. So this is the current website. And so this is the metrics page you can see at the top. So it's just chaos.community slash metrics. And so this um, spreadsheet, anything that's in green, correspond it's it's found here as well okay so like if we're looking in the diversity equity and inclusion working group you can see that like code of conduct at, a, <clears throat> at event diversity access tickets family friendliness and so on and so forth that's mm -hmm. these metrics right here so this spreadsheet is just our way of kind of tracking the work that we do but then they're released officially on this on this website. does that make you see what i'm saying so like yeah. right and so right now we have, you can see it's a long list from the different working groups of all the metrics. So it's a little tricky to kind of find what you might be looking for from a metrics perspective. And this was kind of okay when we had, you know, 30 or 40 metrics, but as we start getting closer to a hundred metrics and metrics models, people just want to kind of come and search. So the new website that we're developing um, is going to have, let's see, a metrics knowledge base. And so this site that you're seeing here is not live. And so here you'll be able to search for metrics and metrics models based on, on things that you would care about as a potential user. So the organization that you see right here, these topic areas, organization, platform, software, contribution, so on and so forth. These are <clears throat> the context tags. Okay. And so the, so, the, his, the history here is basically we built the metrics in working groups and that's how they were organized, but how people are using them is different. So the tags let us present them in the way in more in the way that they are consumed. Okay, that's cool. How is the accessibility of the new website? In terms of like accessibility for screen readers and stuff it looks more um, complex so that's always a risk yeah kevin who i don't think he's on the call could answer that a little bit better but we have been going through accessibility with respect Our, to thank it, you it, yeah, it, yeah. It's, it's something we're paying attention to too i think there's always a challenge when you're using a wordpress site to make sure that you don't have a plugin that breaks it right yeah um, <laughs> <laughs> but we are we are paying attention to that yeah This is cool. Yeah, and color blinds. Yeah, from a color standpoint, it definitely seems good. Thank you, Elizabeth. I always have to ask, even though I know shit about design. <laughs> That's a it's a it's an important consideration for sure. I can't do any of it. So then the keywords would be how when someone's searching for a term, then it would show up basically then. So you're trying to relate keywords to it in that spreadsheet. And they would show up based on them searching the knowledge base there or? Oh, okay, cool. Elizabeth said yes. Thank you. Sorry, dog cat thing. So, whoops, that's not we what I Always right. welcome on screen. All, yeah, we all have pets that occasionally uh, join us to, yeah. keep it, to keep it real. See, this is how you motivate me to come back. 
animals uh, in remote colonies. Uh, oh, Elizabeth's dog is 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 cute as buttons, and Matt's Matt's dogs are very very outspoken. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the context tag. So we've kind of gone through and identified like the context tags for each metric. So then this would enable somebody who's like, I, I don't want to search. I just want to look at metrics that are associated with software. You know what I mean? Or just take a look th at metrics that are associated with events. So you would be able to click here and any, as Sean was pointing out, any, any of the working groups who have assigned event to one of their context tags, that would draw that metric forward. Make sense? So far, so good. And so then the keywords are helping, they're gonna help with this box right here, yeah. our search box. Okay. Yep, so that's that's really, and so the keywords, we wanted to limit the context tags because we don't wanna have an unlimited set of topic areas. You know, we don't wanna have 400 topic areas for, for 400 metrics. Um, but the keywords are, there are things that we can define as being useful, whatever they might be, whatever we think would help in the search process. And then Elizabeth also put in the chat that we're doing audits with colors and color blindness. I don't know if you see that in the chat as well on the new website. Absolutely. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Um, I, yeah. I don't want to add more work. I'm just curious if there's oh. been interest eventually in environmental impact. Of running the site? Of No, of metrics, I mean. Oh. Um, I'm not okay. trying to give you more work. I was just no. curious if that was something people had asked about. No. Do you mean like environmental sustainability or? Yeah, the environmental impact of a project, things like where you host, where you, I don't know. It's just something I was thinking about because originally pre-COVID there was a bunch of us talking about how to make events greener and then it kind of died out because well events died out but <laughs> the, but it was just something I was thinking of as like a topic bucket eventually that I assume would be interesting to CNCF or Linux so I, 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 I will be learning a lot about environmental sustainability and conferences over the next few months because I'm the treasurer for a conference that now has a sustainability chair and making something sustainable involves the spending or not spending of money. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> I will um, I will develop a personal knowledge of what that might look like. Um, and not and, flying people around the world <laughs> to give talks yeah. is the number one thing, but yeah. Yeah, and that's that's, of course, you know, that's hard because people still want to do that. Of course. Um, and so probably what, I don't know if we can just carry this topic for a few more minutes here. Right. Um, I, I would imagine hybrid conferencing would be one of the ways that sustainability could be more fully insured. If the streaming service is sustainable, that's the problem. We know nothing about where Zoom hosts. So it's funny. It's one of the ones we really don't know anything about. And oh. I don't know about Hopin and things like that. If they're like, if yeah. they're like everyone else, they they, they host on uh, EC2. They host on Amazon. Yeah. Um, then every, where, yeah. Like, yeah, I. So, I mean, I know th things I do know is Google is actively, you know, doing things like creating floating data centers that use the temperature of the ocean for natural cooling instead of electricity. Like there are there are certainly data center efforts. I don't know offhand what Amazons are or if... not compared to the other ones it's not it depends on the region okay yeah. I can tell you I've I, I have not heard of that being brought up in any of our chaos meetings so I just I jotted it down I just that's an interesting, yeah. it's an interesting observation like I'm really here for the DEI stuff but yeah I, and so I'm most excited mm -hmm. about because I'm desperate as a journalist for more DEI journalism but um cool. or no, I, statistics and stuff but it was just one of those things yeah. that I was curious about so yeah nope, I've not heard that one at all so interesting it's always interesting when I hear something that I've never heard before <laughs> so, good one 
Um, so I was hoping we could take a little bit of time. Maybe um, we could just ask people to, you can either click on the GitHub link or the, this is the, the Google Doc of the same thing. You know what I mean? So you could click on either one of these and just kind of give it a quick read, particularly just in the, if you take a look at any of our metrics, you know, we just have a description and objectives located up at the top of each of the metrics. And maybe just from your own, like your own perspective, just put in a few keywords that you think might be useful to help people if they, if you were thinking about them searching for a metric that that keyword might help get them to that particular metric. Would, would people be okay with that? Maybe you just pick a metric you could just you could put your name here in the remarks you know and if two people end up on the same metric that's fine too um but just any of the green ones really green rows because these anything that's not green hasn't been released yet so we don't really have to do it for that so would people be cool with that right on all right so i'm gonna stop my share maybe we could just take like five minutes and, and do that, just read a metric, put a few, and I'm gonna stop the recording too, because usually watching our eyes stare at a screen for five minutes is not that compelling, but being back on, recording back on. No kidding, many hands make light work, that, <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, no, and it's like, because it's keywords, <clears throat> I think it's a little bit easier to tackle than the, than the um, well, context yeah, tags. Exactly. And a lot of them, you can just kind of take the the terms in the metric itself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a lot yeah. of the keyword terms are already there. Yeah. Okay. I, I approach the keywords as what would I search for if I was looking mm -hmm. for that? Yeah, no, that's, that's great. All right. <coughs> Thank you, everybody. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to continue on. Um, so basically what, now that we're kind of, I, I will say this, the DEI working group is ahead of every other working group <laughs> in terms of defining context tags and keyword tags. So, mm -hmm. um, so basically what we need to do now is just create a PR to include the context tag headers and the keyword, keyword headers at the top of each one of the metrics, but we don't have to do that right away. All right. Um, all right. So I guess I can just kind of keep going. My voice seems to be okay. Are there, <clears throat> this is for, for folks on the call. Are there metrics that we want to continue to work on? I'm kind of looking at you, Elizabeth. I don't know how well your audio is working, you know, but are there metrics that you've been hearing even from the project badging perspective that maybe we should start to bring forward as a group? And if you're talking, you're muted. Expand on access accessibility, all right. Um, so is it, if not event accessibility, what do you know what kind of accessibility maybe you have thoughts? I think maybe we could, we could, sorry, my voice is also going. Um, we could um, also just think about accessibility in our own project. Okay. You know, like things like the website, things like, um, you know, our meetings, closed captioning, those kinds of things okay. too. Do you think we should, you could just do yes, no's in the chat. Do you think we should define it by like, you know how we have documentation accessibility and ex, uh, I'm sorry, event accessibility? Do you think that we should have like meeting accessibility? You know, like individual metrics around accessibility that are for specific parts of the project? Website accessibility? Communication accessibility would would communication accessibility be like a metric model? Do you think that would hold? 
all of these other types of accessibility? Yeah, maybe. Okay. We have so many voices that are going out today. <laughs> yeah, I was I was on a call with another group at my university and everybody is sick right now. And oh, man. I, I think I'm just avoiding it by never being on campus. <laughs> Hey, oh, <coughs> you're back. Yeah, yeah, he's late. My source is running late, so it's fine. I'm adding all like the breastfeeding stuff now. Okay. Um, so we're, fun. we're uh. asking if there are other metrics we want to work on right now. And we're talking about accessibility and just kind of mm -hmm. how we could think about accessibility. So the so the question is, is I'm looking at the chat too. Um, so right now you can see we have in row 19, we have what we call like event accessibility. Mm -hmm. And we also have documentation accessibility. And so obviously there's a lot of other ways to think about accessibility in terms of um, Elizabeth had pointed out like meeting accessibility, for example, like just other and then there was a suggestion to maybe have an overarching metric model that's called communication accessibility Ooh. that would account for you know how well you attend you as a project attend to things like documentation accessibility website accessibility meeting accessibility you know what i mean like so the the individual metrics could focus on one particular component of accessibility and there could be a metric model that would be like project accessibility or communication accessibility. And it's how well the metric model is basically saying, how well do you tend to all of these things together, mm -hmm. not just one of them individually? So is, is the question about whether or not we consider an accessibility metric model or whether or not we consider working on an accessibility metric that isn't in play yet? um probably both i mean if we have a if we have a metric model at this point the only two if we have an accessibility metric model the only two metrics that we could put into it are event accessibility i mean maybe we could look a little deeper and documentation accessibility those are the only two metrics that have an accessibility tag on them so those are the only two that could exist in a metric model so i mean i think um website accessibility would be distinct from documentation accessibility. Okay. So that might be its own metric. Um, in that one, actually, I believe there are some quantitative measures that we could apply. And Jennifer, I don't know if you know of a particular place that we should be looking for testing accessibility that perhaps, uh -huh. we, could, perhaps we could reverse engineer into a metric. Um, yes, because I've written the only <coughs> on accessible developer experience the only guide so let me find that you got the right person on the call and i'm glad your appointment is late and my my <laughs> yeah he, got, he canceled which is fine so i can meet him tomorrow. Um, if you have something jennifer could you put it in the minutes or the yeah. chat then i'll put it in the chat because i don't want to destroy i don't know how people organize by the way i don't know how to escape but i don't think you actually need to <laughs> Um, just to no, verify no. and i've never had interest in ice skating but the the sweeping yeah i don't do you have to wear ice skates in curling i don't know that you do i don't know if it would make you better or worse but i think you just yeah. have fancy shoes i was i was thinking exactly the same thing i could just be the sweeper <laughs> exactly this is for website accessibility um, which, oh, yeah, this is no, this is for developer experience accessibility. So it distinctly oh, doesn't talk about website accessibility. Okay. But oh. things like copyable code, not using a PDF for documentation. Um, there's a lot about that. So th okay. this, this went from like, I, this was the only article I've ever had rejected by an editor. <laughs> he was like, but you just did basic accessibility. And then it went like my rabbit hole. Yeah. And it goes deep. Okay. Deep, but, well, thank you for that. But yeah, so documentation is a big percentage of it because it's like it's just stupid when people do screenshots of code. Okay. Like it's not only just an accessibility issue; it's just not helpful. Stupid is an ableist word that might 
five-year-old is trying to get me to stop saying, and I should. So Elizabeth, do you know from your conversations around um, project badging, and I know that there was a hope to include um, issues around accessibility, or is it these types of things that they were looking for? I don't know if you've had that conversation. Okay. We should read what is being said in the chat out loud if people watch the video. I don't know if people watch That's the recording. Fair. Elizabeth has low bandwidth right now, technical bandwidth. Um, and yeah, she's said she believes there's been a talk about documentation accessibility and her voice is shot. We all clearly have no voice. Um, and Elizabeth said she's meeting with GitHub accessibility folks as well. Thank you for that. That's a good idea. I don't think we do that in our meetings. I think we just kind like of... it technically does save the public chat if you're recording. No, that's fair. Yeah. Who no, uses that's... it? It's a really <coughs> not very helpful the way it works. Okay. okay. Well, maybe I could ask Elizabeth that based on kind of these five that we have at the moment around accessibility. So meeting is distinct from event based on online. Just, okay. Meeting would be like to turning on closed captioning would okay. be like okay so like this is a meeting like this yeah. okay yeah all right and i guess event accessibility would be like online offline uh providing guides to speakers to not put anything on slides that needs that they're not saying like and if not they describe the slides i, I, don't, know if that. I don't know if anyone provides My... any accessibility guidelines ever but my my problem is I'll go off and talk about things that aren't on my slides. Which is fine, as long as you're not like saying <laughs> read the slide. Yeah. The slide should be like, you don't want to distract people anyway. So do pictures of cats and dogs. That's all people want. So I think the action item from this is. That's quotable. <laughs> Thank you. Is for Elizabeth to connect with folks at GitHub. And so basically, um, Jennifer, there's kind of two things going on here. So one is obviously that we're developing metrics and metrics models as part of the chaos project. We're also talking with folks at GitHub about uh, a project badging initiative. Yes, Splurt. I'm super excited for it. <laughs> yes, and so the idea is Elizabeth is connecting with the folks at GitHub pretty closely and maybe this conversation that we're having around accessibility could also pair with that conversation because I know that the folks at GitHub care a lot about accessibility as related to project badging, DEI project badging. And so if we could align those two conversations, it might be good, at least at this point, just so. Um, and I think Elizabeth is. Yeah, you know, I interviewed Demetrius recently. Okay. And also, I would, the reason I, the chaos project, uh, the reason I was like, oh, I should join is I interviewed Ann Mar Amy Marich. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, oh yeah. She's I know great. Dawn from pre yep. Dawn Foster and other people. I was like, Dawn's the one, like, you should really get involved. And I was like, you're right. Okay. Okay, that would be great if we could kind of align the work that's going on in project badging with what we're doing here. As we say a, a lot, Jennifer, like in the chaos project, we're not, we can't solve everything around accessibility, but we can move off zero and try to help other people move off zero. And so if we can kind of coordinate with GitHub, that would, I think that would be a good use of our our time and effort on everybody's behalf. Okay. The cool. only thing I can say is I don't have Demetrius's direct contact info. GitHub has been a bit gatekeeping of their PR people. Oh, so we're, we know the PR people have been a bit so, but we're connected, I think, on LinkedIn or something, but I've been mainly yeah. going through their PR person. All right. Cool. Um, 
Well, thank you, Elizabeth, for yeah, doing that. I think that would be a good start. And then we could think about, do we need to develop individual metrics and how we think about it as a metric model? And then, Sean, I think you'll need to talk as well <laughs> a little yeah. about if we have an accessibility report that we provide mm -hmm. as part of the badging process. Yeah, and if, um, and Jennifer, I'm sorry if I missed it. You mentioned that you knew of a, of a tool possibly for assessing website accessibility or was that just the yeah, developer there are several because you see the thing is people don't typically apply it to the docs but you can definitely use different website tools there's definitely in that document there'll be tools and, that can help they're not great and the and clear you, thing is there are no quick fixes for this but yeah in your blog post you mean yeah 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 it'll okay. definitely be listed yeah there's okay. There's different like requirements, always like HTML and CSS over JavaScript, yeah. but yeah. And I and I don't know if you saw it asked in chat, but if if you're willing, um, we could put a we could post your blog post also on the chaos blog with the originally right. posted at because I think I think some of this information is incredibly valuable and um, you let know, me could, ask, yeah, because I I don't own the blog, so but I can definitely yeah. ask it. And if and if you and if it's not possible, we can just link to it in one of our various communications. But I think it's great. I mean, this is there's really. I was only able to scan it because I'm also trying to participate in this meeting, but um, <laughs> it uh, it looks like just a wealth of information I have not seen in any one place before. Yep, that's what I do, and then I get myself down these rabbit holes. And then I get really sad when articles don't get this had good traffic though this one, but um, <laughs> and then well the, the trick is to tweet it with keywords like kitten. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Some of my I mean, that may lead to other types of yeah. The clicks are other meanings. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. kitten. Kitten seems like I, what could be bad about a kitten? How could that be? A, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, maybe I shouldn't even ask that question. By the way, I'm doing now while we're talking doing crossover keywords, like because like project burnout would include psychological safety and vice versa. Agreed. So yep. I'm just going through that and just doing that. On that Perfect. Problem. All right. Like we only have about a, another couple minutes here, and the last thing that I just wanted to make note. So first of all, thank you everybody for helping us think through metrics in this meeting. Um, the last thing that I wanted just to point out is that we recently had our Chaos Africa Open Collective approved at the Open Collective Foundation. So this is really great. It got approved yesterday, and this will enable um, like folks. Yeah, I know. I'm really happy. Elizabeth says hooray. So I'm really happy because this will enable activity uh, for the Chaos Africa chapter um, to be, you know, financially independent also from the Chaos Project. The Chaos Project does have our own open collective, but I was just really happy to see this happen. So thanks to, to Elizabeth and thanks to the Open Collective Foundation and thanks to Ruth uh, for, for getting this done. Um, and you can take a look at the site here. Uh, these are just some really early kind of uh, holders that we have uh, for this. And this is to help also establish our DEI project badging initiative uh, with GitHub as well, because I know that Ruth has some work that she's doing on that as well. So I don't know if anybody has any questions on this, but I just wanted to, to point this out. I was really happy about it. Precious is part of this, right? This is, the, this is when we get a small world. Precious from Chaos Africa is... Yes one of the other mentors of this university course we're mentoring around DI and SS. Yes, Precious is so a- is That awesome is when we're getting small world. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Like, I think she's part of that. That's awesome. Yes, for sure. Congrats. All right, so that's, that's that. So I'm gonna stop my share. <laughs> I, I am just about done for the, for the day. Um, I need to get some rest or something like that yeah we do um so is there any other are there any other things that people would like to to bring up today in the last minute that we have lemon and ginger i, I can water. do that very helpful i just had my tonsils out like three and a half weeks ago so 
I've been you can speak from ride. experience. Okay. <laughs> <I'm gonna ride. laughs> I appreciate that. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for working through the keywords on the metrics. You are now that this meeting's over, you are more than welcome to stay in that spreadsheet and continue to think about keywords. <laughs> or yeah. Don't let this meeting stop you from, from doing but that. But you want us in the DEI one, right? Yeah, That's I mean, like where you want us to work on? Okay. You know yeah. what? If you want to work on other, power I mean, to you. Yeah. That's really where my my use will come. But yeah, no, it's really just in the DEI one that I was asking for today. We'll do this kind of in every working group meeting. So okay, well, yeah. definitely share in the group because again, I will unboldly definitely do yoga. Um, <laughs> it's four hundred a month. My co working, I might as well use it for something when yeah. Oh, bad um but uh let me know because i'm happy to jump in right and do that before or after meetings yeah super awesome well thanks for coming so much thanks delight thanks anita thanks elizabeth thanks sean thanks, thanks Jennifer. everybody good to see you. everybody Hope good see you all better. you all live long and prosper all right bye, bye everybody bye. Bye.